I'm continuing my food adventure in New Caledonia, this time near the town of Burai in cattle country. But to be honest, cattle isn't the first thing that comes to mind when you think of the South Pacific. Cindy, is this Cindy? Yes. Edouard, ça va? Bonjour. <laughs> um, where are the cattle? Uh, behind the, the mount, okay. and we can go mastering the cattle now if you want. On horseback? Yeah. Oh, so much fun. I'd love that. Are you that. a real cowboy? I'm a real, I'm a total cowboy. <laughs> if I was any more cowboy, I'd have two six guns and a set of spurs, and I'd be riding a horse backwards upside down. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are you going to put on the back again? A saddle. Yeah, I need one of those. <laughs> It really is a beautiful part of the world. Yes. You're lucky. How long have you been farming cattle here? Oh, we are here since 10 years. 10 years? OK. Yeah. And what sort of cows have you got? Uh, we've got uh, Brahman. Mm -hmm. uh, hey. Beautiful cattle. They're in absolutely fantastic condition. Good Brahman cross. I reckon they'd eat OK. I shouldn't say that in front of them, should I? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Hey, 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 I reckon this looks very much like the hinterland inland from Cairns. That shouldn't surprise you, really, because after all, it's on pretty much the same latitude. You should put this in your diary. Come on. That is some of the most fun I've had in as long as I can remember. Cindy, thank you so much. Thank You've you. You've got some beautiful cattle, and Ruflik is such a beautiful horse. You hungry? Yes. All right, let's cook. <laughs> When you think about French food and beef, I guess the first thing that comes to mind is that classic stew boeuf bourguignon, and it's delicious. But here in New Caledonia, I find myself wanting the same idea, but with a bit of a South Pacific feel. So what if we had our tender stew, but we added some tropical flavours like lime leaves and coconut and sweet potato? That'd be absolutely brilliant. The first place to start is with the beef itself. For a family, you want about a kilo's worth and toss it in just a little bit of flour. Then in as much olive oil as you feel you can get away with, you want to brown it off in the pot. You know what the dog's name is, don't you? Wishful thinking. <laughs> Not today, buddy. You probably need to do the beef in batches. You don't want to overload the pan, otherwise it's not going to brown properly. Oh, and as far as the kind of beef cuts you might use, think about all your classic stewing cuts. Gravy beef, chuck, even brisket, they all work really well in this recipe. When the last of the beef has been browned off, it's time to get some veggies organised. It's a fairly classic mix. Onions, carrot, garlic. Just got to soften those off gently. And then a little bit of tomato paste. The trick at this point is not to let it stick to the bottom. As soon as it starts to catch, you need to throw in some liquid. Half a litre of good quality white wine. Smells good. And half a litre of beef stock. And then you just need to pop the beef back into the saucepan and let it cook gently for a couple of hours, just until the meat is almost tender. What can you smell? What are you looking for? So now, the meat. Oh, it's great. Almost completely done. Last thing we need is those sweet potatoes I told you about earlier. Locals call those yams. Let's just chop them into pieces and they'll need about maybe 20 minutes, half an hour until they're tender. Plus, we're also going to add some coconut cream for rich flavour and ginger. As always, the ginger, I like to chop it into really small pieces. Now, my take on the classic French stew with an island twist is looking fantastic. Yeah, it's 24 degrees here, but this recipe makes a great winter dish. One final detail, instead of herbs to garnish, a little bit of finely sliced lime leaf works really, really well. It's a great stew with all these fantastic New Caledonian ingredients and flavours, especially the locally grown beef, which I can't wait to try. Let's go and see what Cindy has to say. 
Well, I promised you a bit of a feed earlier on, and there you have it, my creation. It's your beef cooked with a bit of New Caledonian flavours. Yeah. Let me know what you think. In French, we say yum, yum. Yum, yum. <laughs> this is good. It's a good start. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> good? You know what, Ed? Mm. You're a good cowboy and you're a good cooker, too. Well, there you go. <laughs> two from two. I've had an incredible adventure here in cowboy country in New Caledonia. But I'll tell you what, there's more adventure still to come. I'm making a classic pudding, but with a tropical twist.